What's up everyone, my name is Ashnor Kitty. Today I've just got a shorter video for you guys. I was actually planning on putting out a live con today, but in one of the warm-up matches that I usually do before I start recording those live comms, I was using the IMR. The reason I was using the IMR was because it was one of the few assault rifles that I hadn't actually used yet, and I just wanted to see what it was all about. And actually this gun exceeded all of my expectations. Before today, I definitely 100% without a doubt thought that the Bell was the best gun in Advanced Warfare, but after using this IMR, it's definitely arguable to think that this gun is better than the Bell. However, I would say that the Bell is still the more overused gun in the game. It seems like every lobby I get into, at least half of the kids are running around with Bells. But at the moment, it doesn't really seem like, comparably to the Bell, there's a lot of people using the IMR. Now, I don't have any metrics or stats to back this up, but this gun really does feel just like a buff version of the M8A1 from Black Ops 2. It seems that the turnover rate between bursts is a little bit quicker, and just overall, this gun's really satisfying to use. This gameplay you guys are seeing now is literally my third game using the gun, so the only attachments I had with it were the foregrip and the red dot sight, but already without the foregrip, this gun doesn't really have too much kick at all, but the foregrip basically makes it a laser. And the iron sights aren't too bad, they're sort of just like a modified version of the bells, so they're not really too bad, but I just prefer the red dot sight. And then basically from any range it seems you can kill people within 2-3 to three bursts, which is very nice. Also considering how long it takes players to regen health, if they've just been in a gunfight, even up to like 5-10 to 10 seconds ago, you can more than likely put them down with one burst. And that one burst from the IMR does not take a long time to get fired. So as I said, at the moment it feels that the bow is the most overused, however this IMR is the most overpowered. I definitely think that once the bell is nerfed, you'll see a lot of pro players and just public players as well jumping over onto the IMR bandwagon, so you may as well try it out now, see if you prefer it more than a bell. But in the future now, I'm definitely going to be using the IMR a lot more than I've been using the bell over the past week, but I thought I should give you guys a heads up just in case you wanted to try it out for yourself. As I said, if you like the M8A1 and Black Ops 2, this might be the weapon for you. But guys, I want to thank you for watching. If you enjoy yourself, you might want to consider leaving a like. If you disagree, then let me know in the comment section below. If you're new around here, then feel free to subscribe so that you don't miss those live comms when they come out in the future. Along with those live comms, I'm also about halfway through editing episode 4 of the Assassin's Creed Unity walkthrough, so be on the lookout for that. But anyway guys, I want to thank you for watching. This has been National Kitty, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!